When my daughter was in fifth grade, she had to build a science project for a science fair. And she was furious because I made her do it by herself. Now, I'm not moral or anything. Just in her fourth grade class, I spent about three weeks putting together a California mission out of sugar cubes, and I only got a C minus on it, so I was not going there again. <laughs> but this science fair was like a living testimony to man's never-ending ability to help his children cheat. <laughs> oh, the scientific knowledge of these 10-year-olds was amazing. There are exhibits on molecular cloning, hydrogen cars. There was a combo nuclear reactor easy-bake oven. <laughs> but there was one exhibit that I'll never forget. We walked around the corner, we saw it. And it was made by someone who obviously remembered that morning that the science fair was that night. <laughs> they had ripped out the sign of a cardboard box, just ripped it out, and written in crayon, why things float. <laughs> That's all it said, nothing else, just why things float. And below it was a bucket full of water with a rubber duck in it. <laughs> and for some reason, there was no name attached. It was like a shrine to the unknown procrastinator. <laughs> and from that point on, anytime we ever saw something stupid, we go, that's about as dumb as a duck in a bucket. Look at that right there. <laughs> <laughs>